Hello, and um, welcome to the Saturday Wrap, the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 25th of December 2021. Yes, Christmas. So, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody, especially to those people who are having a hard time this Christmas. There have been quite a few, and my sympathies are with you. Take care, look after yourself, indulge yourself. Anyway, um, just because it's Christmas, this is not a special Saturday wrap. It's just like the last week. Hmm. So, um, politics and tech and beer. Yes, we have beer. Um, jungle trip from the London Beer Factory. It's lovely. 5.3% alcohol by volume. B plus plus. Get it in your local Tesco's. I need to go out to some other places apart from Tesco's and get some other beers. Because um, New Year and New Year's resolutions are coming. Anyway, so let's have a look. He says, looking at his iPad. Um, word or phrase of the week. Had a great opportunity this week. Really big opportunity for lots of different words. The phrase. Level two. Wales from Boxing Day will be back in level two because of Omicron. Yeah, it's very dangerous, but not dangerous enough that uh, we're shutting down vaccinations on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, unlike England. I remember, ooh, January last year, when that nice Mr. Eric Honecker said, don't jab them too quickly. We don't want to use it all up and then be sitting around. And then quickly reversed it. Anyway, so um, pubs, um, check in. Um, wear a mask, if not seated. And table service. Here's to all those hospitality workers who are going to be rushed off their feet. Hmm. So, um, and there is a great possibility that other parts of the country as well might up their game on the lockdown front. I don't think we can really have a full lockdown unless that nice Mr. Rushdy, Rushy, can't even think of his name, Rishi, um, brings back the furlough. I don't think we have a lot of money knocking around, especially with uh, energy prices. Um, the app of the week okay um it's a big one tonight the national lottery the lottery app it's not bad it's easy to use uh, it's got face and fingerprint id and i'm hoping to win a lot of money which i won't obviously because things but um ios and android and it does what it says on the can, which is sometimes unusual. Hmm. Um, and a thing of the week. You know, at Christmas you think, oh, I got everything I want. I'm not going to buy anything else. And then all of a sudden, um, podfeet.com, Alison Sheridan. I am uh, some guy, uh, the barrel travel router. So, right, um, two devices in Travel Lodge, three in um, Premier Inn, and then you're either on slow or restricted time or whatever. This is rather good. You can copy the MAC address, so log into the master account on your device, turn the Wi-Fi on, uh, connect the router, get it to scan, and bingo. As many devices as you want. I like it. It was 50 quid on Amazon. Now, all I need to do is plan some beanos. I got leave book for January, but I'm not altogether sure what's going to happen, to be perfectly honest. So, but still, always good to have a backup router, even if it's just for home as well. So, uh, you know, things. Right. Okay. So, the look back on the week. Ah, yeah, walking into... Yeah, I walked walked over to Costa, I think I mentioned this last week, and then into Tesco's and brought some, I think it was, more beer. Oh, plus, thank you 
to the Costa workers, thank you to the Tesco's and all the other supermarket workers. They can't work from home. Mind you, in Wales, if you are working from the office or whatever, and you can work from home, you can get fined 60 quid. Now, um, Mr. Honecker, um, I believe he was self-isolating last year and he was working from home. But this week after he announced it, which came in last Monday, he was working from the office. Do as I say, not do as I do. Yeah. Mm. He's not the only one, you know. Definitely not the only one. Um, and I expect tons of wine and cheese in the office from now on. Because apparently that's what you have when you have meetings. He says. Sardonically. Hmm. Um... Issues. Tech support before Christmas. Um, screencasts online. Um, their support is excellent. There was a bit of an issue with the payment, like it wasn't supposed to auto repay, and it did. Um, but now it's all sorted. And the response was even early in the morning, um, and I'm talking about seven o'clock, almost immediate. And then there was Doobie's tech support. Uh, couldn't change my password. Long story short, there was a helpful person in the office on a Sunday, um, but when their tech support came in, said, we changed our billing system, you can't see any of your old orders, uh, you've got to create a new account. Good answer. Fully describes everything. I really would like to see my old orders. But I had to create a new account. Because Christmas is a time for ordering seed potatoes and seeds and such like because well christmas probably do that tomorrow uh you tend to get emails overnight for boxing day saying order 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 he said digital pianos politics <sighs> i love twitter politics in the uk the back and forth um femi fumi whatever and his digital piano. It was great. It was really good. Ah, and you need a bit of cheeriness at Christmas because looks out of the window, it's a Greg Lake Christmas. But instead, it just kept on raining. And it is. I might pop up later and feed the lawn. Um, probably a good idea while it's raining because it gets washed in and doesn't scorch. But, you know depends on my feelings talking of christmas sad news at christmas uh in the office um a family of two people there um passed away never easy even worse at christmas um my sympathies um but what can you say uh, christmas time really um and in other news, a long, long time ago, uh, I think, um, was it June or July of 2020, Aldi start, stopped doing beef and tomato pot noodles. This made me very sad. I was in Aldi on Monday and there were beef and tomato pot noodles there. I don't know if they're back for good, but I had to, just in case. It's a Christmas miracle from Aldi, who are having a bit of an issue with Marks and Spencers at the moment with lighting up bottles of gin. Plagiarism. It's a thing at Christmas. Really is. Um, oh, uh, and then released at midnight. Um, Welsh sport. Uh, no one can watch it. Uh, yeah, you know, all behind closed doors, even local stuff and grassroots stuff. Um, that was rescinded a day later about the local and grassroots stuff. I think they can have 50 people. Um, but here's the thing. Festive premiership matches like uh, Wales, uh, championship, <laughs> Cardiff City and Swansea, although I believe Swansea's off at the moment. Um, uh, you can't go and watch them if they're in Wales, but if they're playing away, you can watch them in England. Yeah, all together working for the greater good, but not here in Wales. Mind you, in Scotland, Hogmanay's been cancelled. 
and someone got arrested for arranging a party at um, uh, um, the First Minister's house on Hogmanay. Whatever happened to the sense of humour? If you don't have a sense of humour, you might as well forget it. And, yeah, politicians who break the law, self-righteousness. Anyway, um, there was the solstice when it rained again. It's odd around the solstice. Um, it tends to get darker for longer in the mornings, but it rolls back in the nights, and then after a while, they both start rolling back. And, um, yeah. I just want it to be light for longer. And we have started that game now, which is positive. It means I'll soon be in the, well, I hope to soon be in the game of optimised departures. Hmm. New Year's resolutions and all that. Um, I mentioned fine for working from home. Yeah. Um, I don't think we found Mr. Vague guessing for eating his chips on a park bench. Did we? Hmm. Politicians. Um, and then level two. Uh, nightclubs. Nightclubs, instead of the night of Boxing Day, 6 a.m. in the morning of Boxing Day. So Christmas nightclub is probably going to be your last. And then pubs and then one-way systems and masks all over the place. Everyone I see now. They either say they're exempt or they wear the sunflower lanyard. People are getting fed up. They've been jabbed three times. Aren't they looking at four times now? Mind you, in work this week, someone who had been jabbed three times and had it, caught it again. Uh, natural immunity and jabs, not the thing. We're just going to have to put up with it. Well, that's the way I feel about it. And I think in 2022, we will see a lot more of that, he says. Okay, um, I mentioned the travel router. Um, here's another app, Parcels. I ordered some, and again, thank you, Alison Sheridan from the Podfeet podcast, um, some HomeKit compatible uh, Wi-Fi plugs. Meros is a company, M-E-R-O-S-S. They had a UK store. I ordered them from the UK store. I tracked them all the way from the factory in China. And they came quickly, and they came before Christmas, and I'm going to test them out, but I haven't quite got round to it yet. Um, but there you are, there's Christmas presents. You can't beat a tech Christmas. Well, tech and beer, and politics, and Twitter, and lots of other things. Oh, talking of Christmas, um, don't dump your gravy fat and turkey fat and goose fat and all those fats down the sink. Apparently, it blocks the drains. We know about this in work this week because we had Welsh water blocking the car park, flushing out the drains. Yeah, the term fatberg could have been a contender for word of the week, possibly for next week. We shall see about that one. And of course, yeah, yeah, Omicron, very dangerous. Let's not jab you over Christmas because it's not that dangerous, but we can shut the pubs and we can do all those things and do, yeah, the trains. Emergency timetable on the trains in Wales run by the parish council down the bay. They couldn't even keep up with an emergency timetable. Shorter trains, fewer trains because of resource availability. I think 2022 is going to be even worse. Going into Cardiff, I'm not trusting it at the moment. It's probably Newport because at least the buses at the moment, touch wood, are running better. Mm. And of course, Merry Damp Christmas. So, there you are. That's the last week and a bit of Christmas Day. Um, what have we got? We've got WordPress, we have got YouTube, uh, MeWe, Twitter and Facebook. Merry Christmas, look after yourself and take care. It's been a bit of a Christmas. <laughs>